Gemma found a little boyfriend at the daycare center. Oh, really? Do you tell? It's definitely love. She keeps throwing things at him. <laughs> nice t-shirt. Oh, <laughs> thanks. I really like them. Yeah, me too. Um, the last album was excellent. Um, um, listen, would you like to go out sometime? Oh, uh, I can't. I'm, um, sort of busy evenings. All oh, right, the baby. Well, you can't blame a man for trying. Do you want to go out with him? Well, I don't know. Well, what do you know about him? His name's Patrick. He's in grade 11. And he likes my T-shirt. Spike, that's good. <laughs> All members, please attend. Thank you. Hello there. Hi. Look, I've been thinking. How about after school? Not today. I have band practice. But tomorrow, we'll go for a walk, and then I'll take you back here just in time to pick up the baby. Um. Okay, sure. That's wonderful, then. Look, I'll see you tomorrow, then. Okay. See you. Bye. Okay, see you later. Bye. So anyway, I moved here with my parents a year ago from Dublin. Oh, yeah. This country is beautiful, but sometimes I miss the greenness of Ireland. Right. You seem to me doing all the talking. Look, you say something. Tell me about yourself. There's nothing to tell. What? I don't like to be touched. Well, there go my plans for giving you a massage. It's a joke. I knew that. Right, what would you like? Um, ice cream sandwich. Two ice cream sandwiches, please. I'll take care of the money. Oh, it's okay. I'll pay for my own. No, let me pay. No, I said I'd pay for my own. All right. It's up to you. And while you're at it, you can pay for mine too. <laughs> Good. You're smiling. You know, it's hard talking to somebody who's wound up tight as a spring. But look, let's start all over again. Okay. How do you do? My name's Patrick. Hello, I'm Spike. <laughs> Actually, it's Christine. Christine. <laughs> Doing anything special tonight? No, not tonight. But I'll probably go out on the weekend. What a lovely pair of ladies. Hi, Patrick. <laughs> and how's my musical muse this morning? Your what? My musical muse. I've written a song all about you. About me? Yeah, would you like to hear it? Yeah, sure. Come on. So oh, quickly. Oh, Christine, your hand in mine, it's so divine, Christine. I'm just a poor boy, I'm just a lonely boy. What would you do? Oh, Christine. Yay! Patrick, that's so beautiful. Do you like it? I like it. I like it. <laughs> I gotta get ready for class. I'll see you later. Okay, okay. bye. Bye. It's so nice. It's really intense. Yeah, so? Nothing, it's just a comment. Must be so nice having a song written specially for you. See ya. <laughs> I guess. Than else. When I'm in a TV ad, I don't get to act. That's you take right. those classes okay. far too yeah. seriously. Come over later, and we'll listen to the new Pogues tape. Okay. Right. I'll see you later. See you. Bye.
So what are you going to do for the play um, well, we'll pick her up, and can you come over to my house and help me with all that dreaded math homework? <laughs> okay, what's for dinner? Well, I don't know. Hot <laughs> so lock. we're off to pizza bar then? Um, sorry, I can't. Why not? I've got a lot of homework. Come on, it's the only night I don't have band practice. I can't build my entire life around your schedule. I didn't say you should. I gotta go. What's that all about? I don't know. Just a reminder that driver's education class is presently getting underway. <laughs> you should have seen Bacon Lock. They were so really? good, yeah. Figures like missing. I know. <laughs> Too bad. Christine! Hey, there's Patrick. Hi, hey, Patrick. <laughs> Matter. I don't want to talk to him. Why? What's he done? Yeah, I think this is so. enough. I'm getting tired of hearing Joey, this. Joey, why are you being such a jerk You're about it? You're such a joke, buddy. He should have been there. I wish. Justine! Justine! Spike, talk to him. Christine, we have to talk. Sorry, I'm too busy. You can't close yourself off for the rest of your life. Excuse me? I mean, you're not the only one who's nervous. I mean, what about me? Here I am, opening myself up. Do you think I wouldn't be hurt if you decided you didn't like me anymore? Liz told you. But I'm taking the chance. We've all got to take the chance. It's called being alive. So I think you should just enjoy yourself. And let what happens happen. But if you want to be afraid, that's fine. But frankly, I think that's being damn foolish. That's quite a speech. It should be. It took me half the night to write it. Spike, she's in the reserve center. I'm not looking for Spike. The reason I came over is, um, well, you know my friend Gary. Who plays the sax? That's the one. His band performing at Leeds Palace tonight, and he's a bit nervous. He wants a few friends in the audience. Would you like to go? <laughs> I don't think so. Just as friends. We are still friends, aren't we? Of course. Can I get back to you later? I kind of have to check something first. All right. I'll see you. All right? Hey! Hi. Can I uh, join you? I don't think that's such a great idea. Sorry. What's wrong? Nothing. I just don't think this will work out. Spike's my best friend. I'm sorry. Okay. has been glued shut. Anyone knowing who might be responsible, please report to the office immediately. All right, Spike, what's going on? I suppose I could ask you the same thing. What's that supposed to mean? Out of all the girls at Degrassi, you go for my best friend. Shh. That's slimy. Excuse me? Using her to get back at me? Really slimy. You think I asked Liz out just to get back at you? I happen to like Liz, and I don't like you meddling. I didn't do anything. Oh, no. 
Then how come she won't even eat lunch with me? Maybe she doesn't like you very much. Let's get one thing straight, Christine. You dumped me, remember? And I don't like you dictating who I can or cannot go out with. Fine. You may be a mother, but you've got a lot of growing up to do.